ready to start building our projects database? This section focuses on storing customers along with their identity and subscription information. So let's see what we need to do to get that done. We will create a database infrastructure that will be independent of the application and of the user interface. To do that, we learn how to use the PHP PDO library to interact with the database. This will make it easy to change database engines. Our database engine for the course is SQLite 3. It is easy to set up and it lets us write code that we can reuse with other databases. To help with that, we learn to use the Firefox SQLite Manager. It makes accessing the database easy and we can use it to help us in testing and learning. We will create a script to configure the database settings. For SQLite 3, that is simply the location and name of the database file. Then we will create a script that will connect to the SQLite 3 database, and it will create the database file if not found. We'll include in the script checks for the correct installed libraries, and we will set up the database to throw PHP exceptions for error handling. We'll also write the SQL statements to create a customer's table. The table will handle the data for logging into our service. We will also keep some profile information about the customer in our database. And we will have fields to track the customer subscription status. And to process this SQL, we will also use the PHP PDO library. Another SQL statement that we write adds the new customers that subscribe to our service. Some of that data is coming from user input, so we will learn how to use the PDO library to protect the SQL statement from tampering. And we are also encrypting the customer's login password for another level of security. Wow, it does look like a lot to cover, but we will break it down. Then we put it together step by step as you go through this section. For example, we will write the testing scripts. They will help you understand what is in the code and how it works, plus they help ensure that the database code is error free. Well that's a wrap, time to tool up and get going. See you at the first session.